We received a couple of questions regarding speech development. Jenny wrote, at what age does it become unlikely a child will speak? And Meg wrote, why is it that none of my speech therapists are working on teaching my child to talk? Questions related to the development of speech come up a lot. These are very difficult questions to answer because every child is different. While we have all seen the checklists for typical speech development milestones, children vary in their development of speech and language skills, especially if they have a diagnosis that puts them at risk for having speech and language disorders or delays. However, these milestones are important because they help parents, doctors, and other health professionals determine if a child is on track or if he or she may need a little extra help. Because autism is a spectrum disorder and skills and abilities vary, it's difficult to say if there's a specific age where it's unlikely that the child will speak. As a speech language pathologist, my ultimate goal is for every child to be able to use their speech to interact with the world around them. But I also need to address their language and literacy development and make sure that they have the tools they need in order to communicate effectively. When the proper tools are not put in place, we often see an increase in challenging behaviors, limited ability to communicate in a functional way, and reduced ability to participate in the classroom. I always advise that a total communication strategy be adopted for children with significant communication challenges. This includes using speech, gestures, signs, picture communication boards, and voice output communication devices. Some people out there are opposed to using augmentative communication strategies with children with autism for fear that it will impede natural speech development or that by introducing an AAC device that we've given up on speech. This is a common myth. The research actually shows that augmentative communication can often increase speech production. In this study, researchers found that 89% of individuals had increases in their speech production after receiving AAC intervention. The goal of intervention is effective communication. Speech is one part of that, but there are other fundamentals that must be developed as well. We all use multiple methods of communication. A quick easy way to know if your child could benefit from using augmentative communication strategies would be to fill out the communication success screening form. This 16-point questionnaire takes only about five minutes and will let you know if you should move forward in the process.